Good morning. It is nearly 2025 and I'm going to show you how to install and play OpenRCQ2 on your Android device. So this assumes you've already got Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 downloaded on your computer as well as OpenRCQ2 which you can see is running right now on my Windows machine. So let's get into the steps. Close this out and the first thing we're going to do is download all of the things you need. We're going to assume you've got RCT2 from GOG, RCT2, the open RCT2 from their release page. I chose the latest version. Install the game and launch it, just like I did to verify that hey, it's installed correctly. So now the easiest way to do this, the methodology I've chosen is kind of like a staging folder. So I created this folder called staging, and in here I'm going to create four distinct folders. OpenRCT2 contains all the files from the OpenRCT2 release, or several of them. RCT1 contains the original files from GOG. RCT2, same story. And then OpenRCT2 user from PC contains all your custom plugins, save scenarios, and track files. So let's begin with RCT2. What you're going to want to dump in here is all these folders from your install, and we find that at C, Program Files, x86, GOG Galaxy, Games, and RCT2. So in here you want to take data, landscapes, object data, save game scenarios, and tracks. Copy it all over to the staging directory. Done. Okay. Same thing for RCT1, and this is optional. You're going to take the entire set of files. Yep. Now in OpenRCT2, that's at Documents, OpenRCT2, Bin, Data, and pretty much everything in here. You don't need Asset Pack or Scenario Patches. All right, throw that into there. Done. Now for your PC, we go to Documents, OpenRCT2, and you want to take your custom stuff like plugins, which I've tested and they work. You want to take saves, scenarios, and all your wonderful track files. Put them in track. Now they're ready to go. Okay, now because transferring thousands of little files is time consuming, we're going to zip those files and then transfer them to the Android device. You can see it's a little over a gig. That's with everything plus tons of scenarios and tracks, so you might be less than a gig, but still not much space. I've zipped that up, and let's go transfer it to the device now. S23 is here. Alright, looks like I've already transferred it, and it, I've already unzipped it. So, in here, here's all my files. And what I want to do is cut or copy those to the root of the internal SD card. Okay, done. Got OpenRCT2 here at the root, RCT1, RCT2, and the user from PC folder. At this point, we're done with the PC side. And as a little caveat, you may not be able to actually extract on your S23 from the computer or your Android. So you may have to open their file explorer and extract on the device itself. But now we're definitely on to the Android side. And what you need to do on the Android side is browse to the same release page and download the Android APK. Open your file browser and launch that to install the application on your device. So. Then we're going to launch that, and what we'll get is an OpenRCT2-user folder at the root of our internal storage. So let's do that now. Da, 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 da. Bear with me. All right, the game has been launched. And we should see a new folder appear here, and it's right here. And in here, this is where all your save game stuff goes for the application on Android. So if you want to back up anything, it goes here, or it comes from there. What we want to do is copy all of our custom content straight into that folder. We'll just control C, control V. It has failed. It tends to do this sometimes, and it may be easier for you to copy on the device itself. Who knows why? Oh, this is great. Copy, paste. Well, Windows isn't working with me right now, but trust me, I have verified this and it does work. Let's try just a really quick, we'll copy a scenario to this folder. Scenario, 
from the PC scenario file. So I've got plenty in here. We'll take my uh, moodybeaches.park. Oh, it's now in there. Thank you, Windows. Now when you launch the application on the Android phone, it should pick up this new scenario. Okay, finally, updating the game. You don't need to do any of this stuff on the PC. You can do it all on the Android. And it's all written here in the description that I'll link. So we're going to download the portable release. Now the portable release contains updated files in the open RCT2 folder. So remember those four folders? This is the only one that will ever actually be updated externally. So we download the patch and extract these same files to this folder at the root of your internal SD card. All that's explained in the description. Then you go to the same release page and update the Android application itself. So you now have the OpenRCT2 files that you need and depend on and the application specifically for Android. Launch it, you should be good to go. No other things required. However, in my case, I couldn't install the APK over the old one. I had to uninstall the APK, which kept all the files and folders, but did allow me to update. I think that's it. If you have any other questions, feel free to put those down below in the description. I'll help you if I can. I'm also posting this on the um, just other places. So thanks. I highly recommend you get a small Bluetooth keyboard, like really small, that fits in your pocket, and a Bluetooth trackball mouse. That's the best way to play these things on Android, especially for travel on a plane, in a car, whatever you want to do. It's pretty fun.